What's up YouTube? I am Sinrith. This is Becoming the Necromancer where I try to get the Necromancer title from Palace of the Dead. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave, drop it a like and leave a comment in the comments section below. So without further ado, let's get to it. So that means we've solidified, since we cleared that ten, those 10 floors, that means we've solidified that extra armor that we got. Which is really good. So the last thing we want is to get that far through and then die. That would have really sucked. Uh, you're a wanderer, you can die. Because you're running straight into me. Okay, Ripper Claws does virtually nothing to me. Tank privileges for the win. Oh, there's two of them there. Let's see if we can get to this coffer over here without aggroing anything. We failed, but never mind. We're tanks, so it doesn't matter if we aggro over a load of things. One more shot. There we go. Right. Check up here. Uh, okay, there's a chest in here. Okay, it's around the other side. Ah, oh, fuck you! Um, right. Get around to that chest, grab that chest, and then leave. Pomander of Fortune. Nice, that replaces one of the Pomanders of Fortune we used earlier. That's good. The reason we're not using any Pomanders of Intuition is just because we're saving those for if we get past floor 100. Because once you... or until we reach... I'll stop burning them more at floor 100. If we reach past floor 100, then I'm going to start burning them every, t every chance I've got. Because you start getting a lot more... You start getting a lot better loot past floor 100 from them. Uh, which is for outside of Palace of the Dead. Um, so I think I'll probably save them for then. Um, if not... Uh, if I hit... Actually, if I hit three... Then, um, if I hit three, then what I'll do is, whenever I find a fourth, I'll just use them up. I'm not going to go out of my way to try and too stingy with them but it would be really nice if we did get to floor 101 to have um, a load of those ready to go let's kill the palace gargoyle uh, let, let's just start fighting everything in this room actually because um, yeah we need to kill things to activate the can of passage you next Come on. Yeah, you're dead. You, come here. Big hits, nice. That should do you. Ah, oh, still no kind of passage. Uh, we got to start finding stuff to kill. Let's head this way next. Let's head this way because I'm sure there's going to be stuff this way. Come here. Big hits in there. Yes, kind of passage active. Let's head out of here. Don't pull it, 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 don't pull it. Don't pull it. Yeah. Can't be bothered to fight that one. Right. Come on, let's go floor forty two. A chest over there. It's a good start. Point of rage. Okay. Point of rage. Well, we've got an extra Pomander of Rage anyway, so let's activate Pomander of Fortune. 
point of sight. Oh, this is a good one to use Rage on. And we're going to activate Rage just over here. We're going to start running into this room and then activate Rage. Get maximum we can out of this Rage. Let's go straight down the middle. And just kill everything in our path. This is the room with the kind of passage. One more. Then that's that lot done. Let's go that way. Because we might get something extra drop. But I doubt it. But at the same time, we've got 20 odd seconds. Then it's the closer room. So I'd much rather clear this room. And actually get a load of kills. Oh, there's only the one. Oh, there's two there. That's fine. Got eight seconds, so we'll just clear this last room by ourselves. We won't worry about the rage, obviously. However, that has cleared most of the floor out, which means that we're going to be moving on to the next floor very, very soon. I'll we'll take both of you on at the same time. Might as well. One more. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Come out of witching. Well, we're capped out on those anyway. Let's open that one. Nice some X potions. We are actually on max potions now though. So okay, let's take on the manticore and this thing at the same time. Come on, you're going to fall over nice and easy, you are. There we go. One more shot. There we go. Uh, treasure copper there. That's Pormander of Witching as well. Okay. Let's head up, because I remember there was a Pormander of Rage just above us. And it looks like we did drop a chest. We dropped a bronze chest down there. There we go, Pormander of Rage. Sprint disabled. I've been hitting Sprint and then wondering why it's not working. I figured I was just on cooldown. Turns out not. <laughs> okay, where's this silver chest? There's supposed to be a silver chest in here. There it is. Okay, unchanged. That's fine. Bronze chest here. Max potion, nice. Another bronze chest in here. Where are you? No, you're in here. There we go. Another max potion. Okay. So we've got two more max potions there. That's good. That adds to our stock of ridiculous amount of max potions. <laughs> I don't know why I'm worrying about bronze chests, to be honest. I I always end up picking up more max potions than I end up using, so... <laughs> Here we go. Pomander of Sight. Okay, that recovers our Pomander of Sight that we used last floor. Okay, let's ignore those guys. Uh, where's the chest? There it is. Wonder of Steel. Okay, let's activate that. I don't like wandering monsters, so let's kill this wanderer. One more shot. Nearly. Okay, that kills the wanderer. Let's check up first. Another wonder of that. That, can, that looks like the kind of passage. Okay, so we'll come to this room last. One 
double shot. There we go. And another wanderer. Lovely. You can come here then. That did a nice chunk of damage. There we go. That's that wanderer dead. Oh, okay. Pulled you by accident. Let's fight you then. Right. When the camera zooms in this far, it's like every time something bright goes off. Oh, okay, I'm glad we came back for this one because there was quite a few rooms we would have missed. Commander of Intuition, nice. That means we've got three intuitions stocked up. So, empty room. Ignore it. Oh, let's kill this Nax, it's in the way. There we go, only a couple more shots. One more shot. Yeah, you're dead. Next is... Okay, there's a one treasure chest over the other side of the room. Let's go grab that. Commander of Purity. Never mind. We didn't need it, but... Let's go the long way around, because I don't want to fight unless I absolutely have to at the moment. I'm trying to whiz through and get to next floor. There's not a wanderer coming this way. I'm going to aggro the gargoyle. I am going to aggro the gargoyle. I'm, I'm aggroing a very dead gargoyle in a second. <laughs> One more shot. Nice. I think a wanderer went this way, didn't it? No, there's a demon there, though. Let's see if we can get round there. Let's just go the long way around. Well, oh, there's a treasure coffer there. Let's grab that as well on the way through. More max potions. Good, good. More max potions is good. Right, floor 44. More max potions. <laughs> uh, we go up. That knight's going to be in the way, though. Let's take out that knight. I need to do some killing anyway, so we might as well... Not mess about. Let's just get on with it and take down what we need. There we go. He's down. Open chest. Point of steel. Okay, let's activate that. There we go. Um, let's check this room up here. Gold treasure coffer. Okay, I'm going to pull it anyway. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. One more shot. Come here. Go. One more shot. Excellent. That done him. Pomander of Steel. Uh, let's, I'm not going to bother activating another one. I can't be bothered to activate another Pomander of Steel. We just, we literally just a second ago activated one. Okay, so the. Passage room is going to be through here somewhere. Okay, so that is the... Oh, shit. I've got two raids now. I'm about to have three raids, aren't I? Let's get out of the way of this. Yeah, so you're the next one that's going to scream at me. And I noticed that I could interject that if I wanted to. Right, you're down. Oh, you're on. 
Okay, let's see if you try and scream at me, because I know I've got an interject this time. Interject. But to be honest, when there's two of them, it was probably a good idea just to... Let's take out the gargoyle. It was probably a good idea just to dodge it anyway that time, the first one. Oh, come off it. You rat bastard. That knight literally just walked straight from where I could sneak past him. He literally walked right in the way where I was definitely going to pull him when I tried to get through that bloody door. shot should kill you. Now we start on you. Is that a dot? One more shot. There we go. Where's my treasure chest? Over that side of the room. Okay. Let's kill you then. Oh crap. Okay, that's not good. 14, 13, 12... Let's stay around here, just in case a wanderer comes through. Because I can't fight a wanderer like this, I can't fight anything like this. So now I can hardly see because I'm right up behind my character and everything's so bloody bright. Okay, let's open this treasure chest, see what we've got. Bond of Witching, okay that was a waste then. Divide. No, you're not going to be able to do that. Ah, okay, there's lots down there. I just want to see what's in the room. Can I just see what's in the room? Okay. Uh. How many treasure chests? Screw it. Let's rage it. We're not going to worry about the full combo. Let's just rage it and just march in there. There we go. One more. Might as well clear that other room while we're at it. Don't take a second. Oh, I like that toading doesn't affect you if you're a manticore. Well, it kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? You're already transformed. There we go. Let's transform back. Crap chest. Lovely. Take my regen just to be sure. And we checked this chest in here. I remember it not being anything of any use. But there's a whole load of chests in here. Oh, the silver chest there. Armor remains unchanged. That's okay. Pointer of sight. Okay. Pointer of safety. Pointer of fortune. Pointer of lust. Okay, that was quite a good haul from that room. I'm glad we did that. So, next floor then. 45. Um, abilities unavailable. Abilities or weapons? Okay, no, they're class weapon skills. Okay, we just gotta be a bit more careful then. Uh, where's the chest? There's the chest. Commander of Intuition, let's activate that. Now to send the location of the accursed. You sense the, the accursed horde calling to you. Okay. 
Uh, point of sight. Weapon wonder of fortune, and uh, let's rage it. Because we, we, we've got no abilities. Just gonna rage through it. Only two in this room, that's disappointing. Um, let's see if we can, we've still got enough to go down this way after the in, with the rage that is I'm hoping we do we might be able to get at least one room we, we should be able to get at least one room done hoping we get the remainder done There's the Pormander of... Uh, there's the... Um, not Pormander, what am I saying? There's the Accursed Horde back there. Okay, Silver Chest all the way over the other side. Uh, we're going to take out all these anyway. So... Give me one or two more shots. One more? There we go. Hoping that be nice, easy run through and pick up all the remaining stuff, all the treasure chests that we missed on our way through. One more shot. There we go. Silver chest. Come on. Nope. Ether arm remains unchanged. I. I have 99 ether of course it's going to remain unchanged. Um, Wonder of Serenity. Wonder of Witching. Come on. There we go. Cursed Horde. Uh, what was that back there? It should say in a second ago. Wonder of Lust. Okay, no worries. Um... Yeah, let's grab that treasure coffer over there. And we need to go back and check the uh, point of affluence. Affluence, 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 affluence. Okay, more treasure coffers on the next floor. That's good. And last one over there. Will kill you on the way through. There we go. There's the last treasure chest. Oh, there's two there. I lied. There's actually two of them. Round of fortune. And a max potion. Excellent. Right, now we've got to run all the way back there for the Cone of Passage. Lovely. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the microphone there. Don't want to fight you. Yeah, sure, come on then. Might as well take you down. Not quite enough. paralyze hit and that's the important bit because <laughs> I didn't want to be paralyzed <laughs> let's just double check these two coffers just make sure we've not missed anything Pomander of Lust and Pomander of Witching no that's okay we haven't lo missed anything Items unavailable. That should be fine. Uh, oh, I know she can't activate them. <laughs> That's annoying. But it's fine. We might miss a few, um, a few 
poor Manders, but it's okay. Or a few buffs we could get from poor Manders at least. Hopefully this will kill him. There we go. Uh, ether armor remains unchanged. Check this room. There is a copper chest over the other side, guarded by that hellhound there. Or pretty much guarded by that bloody hellhound. Oh, okay. I only pulled. I'm only meant to pull one there. Oh, okay. I pulled all three apparently. I made an oopsie. Didn't mean to pull all three there. I just realised it means no potions either. That's not good. Fortunately we've got a heal in our kit. But um, yeah, that's not good. We're going to have to be a bit more careful. Oh, this should do you in. There we go. Ignore those guys there. Start on this one. One more shot? No, you're not using that. Okay, run straight into another one, lovely. On the plus side, kind of passage is active. Which means that as soon as we get there, we can head straight through. Especially since we haven't yet found that... Um, I'm going to pull you straight away as soon as I walk in anyway. Um, you haven't died yet, I see. <laughs> Thanks, tired. <laughs> you have little faith. Um, silver chest. Ether arm remains unchanged, that's fine. Now, I'll have you know, I've come close a few times in this session, but I haven't managed it yet. <laughs> uh, no, you're not being going to be allowed to paralyze me. One more shot. There we go. Uh, oh, that <laughs> hellhound right in the way of the door. I'm sure you're just here to troll me, aren't you? That's what it is. <laughs> I troll you in your streams, so you're here to troll me on mine. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Let's go this way. Point of intuition. Uh, oh, I can't activate it anyway. Lovely. The armor and weapons upgrade carry over to different classes. Yes, they do. Yeah, if you um, all your armor and weapon upgrades, uh, they carry o they carry over to whichever class you're playing. So, which is really good because otherwise it'd take you forever to. Okay, otherwise it'd take you forever to level everything up. They're definitely needed for later, uh, higher levels and everything. They're definitely needed for later floors and stuff. Because I got, um, oh, for God's sake, the bloody hellhound. Um, I got all the way up to floor 100 with Machinist. And um, you definitely start feeling it as soon as your, as soon as your uh, weapons and armor don't feel high enough for the floor. You really start to feel it. And things just take ages to die, they hit so much harder, and yeah, it's just not fun. But, um, abilities unavailable again. Okay, uh, pour under steel. Okay, let's activate that. Uh, is 99, is 99 the cap? Yes, yes it is. Uh, pour under flight, let's activate that. Uh, yeah, 99 on weapons and armor is the cap. You can use that to get... You see the weapon, that, um, the gun blade that my character is using. This isn't my actual gun blade. My gun blade doesn't look like this. Um, 
This is a Palace of the Dead weapon. And you can exclusively... It actually looks different at lower levels. When you're like level 1 to 50 or something. It looks like a white weapon. It looks like a white glowing weapon. We're under affluence. Uh, affluence. It looks like a white glowing weapon. Um, and as it gets higher it changes to look like this. But you can actually unlock these um, for glams for your character. Um, if you so choose it costs like 10 ether armor and 10 ether arm to unlock them I think. So... Or something along those lines. But yeah... It, it's not something I would have normally considered unlocking, but not gonna lie, I quite like the look of the gun, the gun blade that I'm using. So it's tempting, but I suspect this kind of style of weapon would look better on a dark night, as in like this r dark red, evil glowing kind of. I'm not gonna bother with that chest, by the way. This dark red, evil glowing kind of. Style. I'm not going to bother with that one either. Um, I think that it would look so much better on a Dark Knight. Because obviously the Dark Knight's got this big sword. But I don't know what the Dark Knight one looks like. Oh, excuse me. Because they do have the habit of putting... They do have the habit of making the Dark Knight weapons look like basically a giant sword. Except with no tip to it. It's just like a flat top to it. And I hate that stuff. I just don't like it when they do that with like great swords. It's like, it's not really a great sword anymore. You're just wielding a giant iron bar that's sharpened on the edges. I wouldn't really call that a sword. There we go. that silver coffer. Let's open it up and see what we get. Ether arm remains unchanged. Boo! I don't know, maybe I'm just being finicky with that idea of like that, that kind of sword. The sword that's shaped like just like an iron, giant iron bar with shaped edges. To me a sword has to have a point on it. I don't know about you. But that's my opinion anyway. What do you think? I don't know. Let's go this way. Oh, oh excuse me. I like them both. Oh, you like the sword, which is kind of shaped like an iron bar with like the with no point on it. It's just like a flat top to it. The oh, dragon there. Let's see if we can snipe this chest straight out from under the dragon. Hee hee hee. Okay, wandering monster. Let's jump straight on this dude and kill him quick. One more shot. There we go. Oh, excuse me. For God's sake, keep yawning now. No doubt anyone who's watching is now yawning as well. Uh, okay, let's kill you because you're going to be in my way. That's not half his health in one shot. That's mad. One more. There we go. Where did they come from? What? Right. Do that. 
Nope, haha. Oh, it's not making you on as well, because your name's contagious, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake, they're talking about it. Oh, excuse me. Talk about it, it makes me your more. Okay, that's activated the counter passage. Okay, there's... Nowhere near you. Right, this should kill him anyway. Got a burst combo up, so one more shot. There we go. Let's just check this last, this last um, room. Oh, for God's sake! I'll stop yawning in a minute. Promise. Let's check this last room over here. This lot. I've returned there. Oh, okay. You're going to come after me anyway. Big shot. There we go. And you're down. Excellent. You use OBS, right? Yes, yes, I do. I use OBS. I actually use I actually use two instances of OBS because what you can't see here is this is a laptop. I'm using the laptop webcam there. Um, I am using a little device that um, transmits the my desktop across to my laptop. Oh, for God's sake! Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. It has its issues, but I think every streaming software has its issues. Um, okay, I might as well use that before under sight. Um, as a whole, it's pretty good. It's really nice being able... It's been really nice, the setup and everything. Um, as I said, I'm actually running two instances of it because the streaming and gaming on the same machine wasn't such a good idea I found. I found that with Smite, the problem, but then the problem is Smite's servers can be a bit shocking as well. So, the problem I was finding was with Smite, I was getting a lot of juddering, a lot of rubber banding and stuff like that, which was really annoying. Um, but if you're playing single player games, I can't see an issue with it, if you're playing on PC. Um, yeah, it... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'd recommend checking it out. It, um, there's a lot of tutorials for it about. Um, so if you ever get stuck, there's always loads of places you can look to find um, to find what you need. Oh, heck. Uh, knockback disabled. And it's gloom spreads. Okay. Let's pull under Serenity this, because I don't particularly want all those things. If you need a hand at all setting up, Tired, just give us a shout, mate. I'm more than happy to help. Uh. Oh, crap, I pulled all three. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Let's activate mitigations. That hits harder than I like. <laughs> oh, stupid paralysis. There we go. There we go. Done. Uh, all that for a bloody copper chest. It's 3x potions. Not worth it. Not by any stretch of the imagination is that worth it. On the plus side, it has got me a bit closer to activating the Kern of Passage. 
Uh oh. Okay, he's gone back to sleep. It's fine. Panic over. Now let's take these two out because I need to. Fight kind of passage anyway. One, two more shots. There we go. Sleep. Did you rolled over? That's what I wanted. Never mind. Come on, white noise machine, go off, please. Go the wrong way. Crap. Uh, this way. in this room? A gold chest somewhere. Ah, screw it, it's not worth it. Too many mobs in that room. Let's go next floor, I think. Don't know if you can tell by the way on that gun blade, you can see the revolver barrel on that one. I think it looks pretty cool. I just don't think it's... I don't think the colour scheme suits a gun breaker. Right. Excuse me. There we go. Right. Um, okay. We've got Pormander of Strength activated, so let's activate Pormander of Steel. And we want Pormander of Lost. Excuse me. And this boss is dodge the AOEs. <laughs> Three. Four. One more. Five. Okay, there we go. Back to the damage buff as well. Away because we don't want to get caught by that. Okay, we don't want to get hit by this. I love that I've got m movement abilities. That's so useful. I feel like I need to mitigate any of these. Bit less. There we go. Get away! Let's get away! So nearly done. Come on. We're over halfway there. But you're about to lose your debuff. That's not good. That was just a little minion doing something. You need to worry too much about that one. Black Honeymoon, this is fine. So, yeah, because every time you get hit by the AoE, it increases the power of Black Honeymoon. That's it. Right, after this one, let's get a damage buff. Let's do some loads of damage here. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. There we go. Nearly down. Come on, 10% left. 8%. 7. Come on, 6.
1%. There we go. Oh, I've got bonus ether armor there. That's not bad going. If you got this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like and drop a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to see me live, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Sinrith. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me as at Sinrith on Twitter. So, thank you all very much for watching once again, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.